It's a complaint you hear a lot. Criminals do their time in prison, get out, and then end up back behind bars again. But that's not the case in Ohio. 27 Investigates reporter Amanda Smith got a rare look inside a state prison at how the state is keeping felons from breaking the law again. This is the correction facility in Noble, Ohio. Right now, 50,000 people are in our state's prisons. Most of them will get out someday and start life on the outside. It's a hard journey. When I was judge of the Youngstown Municipal Court, I was convicted, uh, sent to prison, federal pr prison. Uh, I spent uh, 19 months, and then I came back to the community. Patrick Kerrigan says the hardest part of coming back into society was trying to find work. And although I had skills as a, as a judge and a lawyer and a writer and a scholar, I couldn't get a job with, with anybody trying to write briefs or help do research or do any of those kinds of things. This lack of a way to make a living sends many felons back to prison, most of them within three years of leaving. It's called a recidivism rate. The biggest problem with crime today in America is poverty and drugs, and those are interrelated. But you go back to an environment where you're, you're poor and everybody around you is using drugs, that's very hard to stay away from that. In Ohio, the recidivism rate is the lowest it has ever been. Only about three of every ten felons released from Ohio prisons come back. That's much better than the national average. Close to seven out of ten end up back in the slammer. I'm inside the reintegration unit at Noble Correctional Institution. This is the newest facility like this in the state of Ohio, and it's one that the governor hopes is going to keep the recidivism rate down. The Ohio Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation invited me in to see it as it opens earlier this month. They allowed me to bring my camera on the condition that I do not show the inmates' faces. The prisoners living here train for life in the outside world. They sleep in a dormitory, not cells. They attend school, they have jobs, and they learn how to be in society. And it's a new concept. This is not the prison, this is not the prison system that exists in 2010. We changed our mission statement to reduce recidivism among those we touch. And if we can help change their lives, we can keep people safer. Part of that includes work training and help with the job search. Employers can come into the integration center and meet with drug-free, job-ready workers. We'll let you interview. If, if we can help provide your orientation training while people are still here, we will do it. The prison director says the key is helping inmates feel like they are people who can give back to the world they've hurt. In Noble, Ohio, Amanda Smith, 27 Investigates.